Welcome back to Yatastic Garden. I'm your hood gardener, your host, Jerusalem, and we're going to get back down with it. Folks, <clears throat> I'm going to do so many videos because I'm always doing the videos. They just be on Facebook. I only got one social media, and it's on Facebook. And uh, so I do so many videos uh, on there. Um, and I like giving out the information because I believe in each one, teach one. And that's the way we're going to grow, grow, grow. All right. G-R-O-W, G-R-O, G-R-A. So we're going to grow, 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 grow. That's how we do it. Now, what you're looking at is peat moss. Peat moss is great for starting off babies. Oh, seeds. And, and 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 ones with um little roots, you know, tender roots that when they they start sprouting and they could sprout right up through that. See how like that this is all look, look how like. Alright, this is basically like wood chips, fine grain. Okay? Like fine grain. And when you use that, you wanna use boom. That's perlite. Peat moss and perlite mixed in together is all you need when you're starting stuff out. Matter of fact, you can do it. You don't even have to use soil if you don't want to. So I use peat moss, perlite, and bam, leaf. Peat moss, perlite, and leaf, okay? So that, that's easy access. The leaf is great because it comes from the tree. All right. When it comes for a tree, you can use all of that right back. Look at that. Look at look how that look. This is how I save money, y'all. This is how I save money. I use what the father already gave us. Plenty of leaves. Boom, boom, boom. And show my little things right here. Bone meal, blood meal, bone meal, blood meal. It's made from real bone, and it's made from real blood. Bone and blood meal, okay? And, it, it, and, and the other one that I love to use is a worm casting, which is just worm boo-boo. You can find it at Home Depot Lowe's or order it online. You can order the, all of these online to have it delivered right to your front door. So what we're going to do today, y'all, We gonna do Bam Oh look at all of them Look at all of them y'all We gonna do some Cause it take very long for turmeric and ginger Alright This is ginger So we gonna do some ginger When you see You can go in the stores and get your, your ginger uh, also Just go in the store let them sit out a while until they start sprouting like that. Okay? Until they start sprouting them. Alright? You can take your sweet potatoes and you can just put, sit them. And you can take your potatoes and just sit them till they start sprouting. You, you understand? So we finna to do all of this today. This is what we finna do. Alright? So what I'm about to do is I'm about to see these pots. This big old pot right there. And if you want to know how big it is, look, that's how big it is. So what we're about to do, we're about to go here and gangster this stuff up. All right. So let's get started. Oh, I wanted to remind y'all of the eucalyptus from Haiti. From Haiti. I told you I order stuff from all over the world, y'all. It's real out here. I order stuff from all over the world. All right. Got a whole bunch of stuff coming from Haiti. Herbs. Because I make products, so I got a whole bunch of stuff coming for the herb side. Uh, help with that body. All right, but we back on this. What we back on? Look at that, y'all. Look at it. Oh, beautiful, right? Say it with me. Beautiful, baby. Yeah. Beautiful, baby. <laughs> People say, I can't get my, my, my sweet potatoes to sprout. Shoot, just leave them alone. They're going to do what they're going to do. Just like them potatoes. They're going to do what they're going to do. All right? So, and when you say potatoes going bad, y'all, 
they not really going bad. You just use them as food. You know what I'm saying? Compost. Stick them in your plant. They're going to dissolve. Your plant's going to eat them up. Your fruit tree's going to eat them up. And it's going to be good like that, right? All right. All right. So what we did, folks, we didn't put some leaves. Look at that. We didn't put some leaves, some um, wood chips. Right, because I got a bag of wood chip. All right. Then put some leaves and some wood chips in here. And we're just mixing it all up. Right? Uh, let me get a better angle on it. I'm sorry about that, good people. All right. And mix it all up. I'm good at making my own stuff like this, right? Because I'm going to get more bang for the buck. Now, wood chips are great, folks. Like I said, it's from the ground, so it's great. And they don't really cost that much. So you can get, go get about five bags of this, you know? You can get five bags of this and put it to work. Uh, and just stir that on up there. Get on dirty with it. Put your gloves on. I don't like putting on gloves. I like getting down dirty with my hand, right? Look at it's a big pot. I'm going to get a good reward out of this. Return. And uh, and what I'm going to do now. Hey. Hey. Now. You got to understand this, folks. When you put this in. This is going to go up. The way sweet potatoes work. This is your flowers that's going to stick out. And they're going to be beautiful. Okay, same with um, potatoes. They're going to be beautiful. And when they go up, it's going to start sprouting down at the bottom. Okay, and what it's going to be is going to be like a finger at the bottom. And they're going to go like like a family tree on a tree. And those are going to sprout out new potatoes. Why these is going to be sticking upward coming out the ground so when you do it you want to make sure this is up because the bottom part of the potato right there the bottom is going to have the roots and they're going to span and go downward so if i want to put this in there i want to put this basically at the top you understand but I want it covered up because I want them to come through the soil, the leaves to come through the soil. But as they go down, they're going to go ahead and do it. Now, you can do this in potatoes, sacks or whatever, big containers. Uh, let me show y'all this. See that tote? That, that, uh, that, that blue one? Right? I get them from Walmart. Them in the old laundry tub. Five dollars, I believe. Five, six dollars. And they pretty deep. They just as deep as these ones right here. So you might as well go ahead and go up to Walmart and, and grab those. All right? Go up. They're five dollars, y'all. Five dollars. Or go online and order them. Have them delivered right to your front door. And they work. They work just as good. I use this. Y'all know what that is. That's a bin. So I use that. All right. Now, so when you see it down there, it's not going to be like this. I'm going to stick it straight up, but I must get enough soil in there so I can put it in. All right. Same way with ginger. Same way with turmeric. Because it's going to sprout downwards and grow. You see what I mean? Now, I wouldn't leave each one of these. You break them up. You just go ahead and break them up. They're going to grow all the same. All right? They're going to grow all the same. Just cut them where you see the bulbs. Like, see that right there? The, the connection part? The connection part? The connection part? The connection part? When you grow these, turmeric and ginger, grow as many as you can. I'm warning y'all right now, folks. Grow as many as you can. Because the reason being... It takes a long time for these to grow. And you don't want to just plant four and that's all you got. You don't want to do that. You want to plant as many as you can to get the biggest return out of it. So I would say plant at least 40 of them. 
I get, let me see how many I get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I get eight out of this right here. But I got more that's in the house, and that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to plant me at least 40, because nine months is a long time to wait. And if you didn't plant enough, guess what? You don't got enough. All right? Filling it up. Filling it up, folks. Good stuff. Good stuff. Look at that. Look at that. It's soft. Look how soft it is. And when I go back up to the store, I'm going to take y'all on a video on the different type of soils that's in the bag, okay? Because we don't want to be making mistakes and getting something that we don't really need to be getting. So I'm most likely going to go up there tomorrow because I got to get some more um, um, wood chips. And I got to get some more perlite. So I'm going to educate us all on that together tomorrow about the different soils. And that is very important because when you are a beginner or you just doing it, you you just looking for something and grabbing something. But with this gardening and getting the best production out of your stuff, it's important that we have information, right? Because the information is what's going to get us to have a great produce. Remember what I told y'all? The first year I grew, all I had was a green garden. That's it. That's it, a beautiful green garden. I ain't have nothing else. No fruit was growing, no nothing. I ain't understand it. I was disappointed. I was discouraged, you know, but this is the discouraged game, but the faith game. You understand? Keep your faith, put in the work to increase your faith. Faith without work is dead, so you got to put in the work, which is the studying, the information, and all of that. So what I'm about to do, I'm going to go get some more leaves. Follow me. Just that quick, and I got me a big old five gallon bucket of some goodness. <laughs> hey, they can't fool me. <laughs> the father that made me, the father that made me too aware of the things that I could use to go ahead and get the maximum productivity out of everything that he done created. And guess what? I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it to the best of my ability to get them, get the most out of everything that I do. Folks, I'm gonna take y'all on journeys that y'all didn't even think about. I'm gonna take you on so many good journeys of stuff that y'all don't even put um, thought into. And that's what it's about to be, and what it's supposed to be is thought provoking uh, subjects to kind of put you in the mind for hey, let's talk about these things, right? All right. I told you my man was gonna get that pool together real quick, didn't I? Let's see what we got now, folks. And as it keep going, I'm gonna I'm gonna add more soil to it and take it up there to the all the way to the top to kind of strengthen them um, roots, them flowers. Those are flower roots that's coming from the top of it, and you can see they're ready to start. Uh, making uh, the flowers and they're gonna be beautiful flowers just like just like that stick it up okay now I'm supposed to do the potatoes okay 